in Romans chapter 12, verse number 2, that there is now, therefore, no condemnation. There is, therefore, now, no condemnation. There is, therefore, now, no condemnation. The debt has been paid. The debt we owed has been paid. There is, therefore, now, no condemnation. To them who are in Christ. Oh, glory. There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the laws of the spirit has set them free from the laws of sin and death. So are you afraid you might die? Jesus paid for it. Jesus paid for it. The only way you can be molested by the power of death is if you don't know what he did. Number one. Number two, if you don't know who you are. If an army, someone that is an army personnel, a soldier, wears soldier uniform. If a fellow soldier who does not know that he's a soldier stops him, will that army lie down, soldier? Will he lay down on the floor? What will he do? He will identify himself. He will speak something and the soldier will ask him, maybe your number. He will call the number. The soldier will salute him. But the civilian who doesn't know what to call, wears the same uniform. And then a soldier says, identify yourself. Can he identify himself? What will happen? He will be molested. So the only way the deliver can be molested by the power of death if, is, if he does not know who he is, who truly he is, when he has a working understanding of what the covenant of light has made him, he can be molested. Jesus said, all things are yours. What I've taken time, I've devoted my life doing is to study covenant. To study the patterns of divine covenant. Covenant patterns. And I discovered a follow one route. God is a constant key. He can't fail. He said, I have made a covenant of day and night. What it means is that you wake up every morning. Night must come. He said, I cannot break my covenant. If I cannot break my covenant of day and night, I can't break my covenant with you. Have you ever woken up any day and there is no night? And night told you I traveled. I forgot to come out. There must be what? Day and night. So the covenant of God is sure to happen. The covenant of God is sure to happen. What is that covenant? The covenant of longevity. It's your inheritance as the redeemed. Paul said in 617 of the book of Galatians. He said, hey, all the demons on earth, hear me. Let no man trouble me again. Because I bear upon my body the marks of Jesus. Do you know why? Because he came to die for me. We were in him when he died. When he died, we were dead. When he was perfected, we were also perfected. When he was raised, the Bible says we all were also raised into the fullness of God. And when he sat at the right hand of the Father, we all sat with him in heavenly places. Therefore, there is now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the laws of the spirit have set them free from the laws of sin and death. I can't die anyhow. No, it's not possible. I know who I am. The Bible said the number of my days I shall fulfill. I won't give the devil even one minute. No, 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 no. I won't relinquish one minute. The number of my days. The devil will always keep coming, begging. Give me one year now. But you are the one that has the food. If you have a food and someone is begging you for the food, you have the right to say no 